Hi guys, so, okay, I just re finished recording the episode, episode 20 of Chain Reaction and I posted it. It was skipping a little bit, but, well, not a little bit, but a lot. It was skipping a lot, so you guys don't have to watch it or whatever. Um, but I, of course, ran out of passes, so I will be posting 22 in like three hours. I have, well, yeah, three hours because it's going to take me a good uh 20 minutes to read to you guys or whatever but um actually yeah it was the episode that long i don't think the episode was that long i don't know so probably like two and a half hours two and a half three hours tops okay but in the meantime in between time i'm gonna start reading this story called the well this yeah the story called the secret of frame episode one is by joseph evans i love him love 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 his work so let's get started oh and i'm gonna put my referral code in the description box use it you guys please and freaking thank you oh god knows i hate that man oh honey he had another story i'm doing and i hate his boy ass um how are you holding up back there, Rain? Her name's... Oh, come on, Rain. <laughs> I know you just want to hear those headphones to prevent... Wait, I know you just wear those headphones to prevent people from talking to you. Oh, Rain, we are just alike. We are one in the same soul, honey. You're not actually listening to any music, are you? Can you hear anything I'm saying? Okay, did she dye her hair blue because her name's Rain? I'm gonna go what I'm doing okay, thanks. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, Rain, you got absolute problem, girl. Because you don't seem dude. If you know why I'm wearing these headphones, why aren't you respecting my wishes? Because it's antisocial and kinda rude. <laughs> don't you wanna make a good impression this evening? Your new parents are probably waiting excite wait, excitedly? to meet you is that a word um <laughs> the friends are bill and carol by the way oh their names are bill and carol by the way i'm i'm so tired you guys it's, it's literally five actually it might be six in the morning right now cool oh yep it's six twenty. Mm -hmm. tired as hell cool that's it look darren i'm not sure what you want me to say they're just going to be the same as every other set of parents I've had. Oh, Rain, we went in the same soul, girl. We're going to be super excited to welcome their new, welcome me into their home. And then, a year or two down the line, they'll say they can't connect with me. That I'm cold and distant. But you know what? In a couple of years, it won't matter. I'm 17. I'm not anyone's child. I'm like, I'm not a child anymore. I don't know what the hell am I reading. But anyhow, um, when school is over, I'll get myself a job and rent my own apartment. I'll be done with this foster home. Cops with what? Cop? Okay. Uh -uh. It's my new favorite word. And Ray, you clearly just made that up. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm tired. You're, you're, you're really one of a kind, right? She's <laughs> really not. I swear I do the same thing. Like, you just made a whole word up. Um, what a, what a, I kept calling my best friend something today. And it was stressing him out. I think it was Cobb Winkle. Cobb's Winkle. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, this is it. <clears throat> We're here. Why did it go black? What the hell? Mr. and Mrs. Appleby? What the fuck is your name, Appleby? Um, I'm Darren Wilkins from uh, Feathergill Foster Homes. We spoke on the phone a couple of times last week. Um, it's very nice to meet you in person. It's very nice to meet you too, sir. Where is she? Where is she? I can't see her. Excuse my wife's bluntness. <clears throat> We're just so excited to meet our new daughter. Aren't we, honey? 
I'm so excited about. I'm about to faint. I feel like y'all are on the weird side, people. Well, no. Well, you needn't wait any longer, folks. Rain, come on. <clears throat> Get out of the car. I don't like you with your boy head ass. <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. Appleby. Well, I'm not calling them Appleby. Appleby. Fuck. That's what your name spelled. I would like to introduce to you your new daughter, Rain Riverton. Ah, how original. I'm going to just say, hey. Wow. That's some strikingly blue hair you have, Rain. <laughs> In the photo we were giving, you had lovely brown hair. I dyed it. Yes, we can see. How delightful. Um, how about you get you inside? Uh, that sounds like an excellent idea. Go ahead, Rain. Are y'all some haters already? Have fun, you coys. I'll be in touch next week to see how everything is going. I really thought that should work, y'all. We can't wait to show you the house, can we, love? We certainly can't. You're going to love your new bedroom. Follow us. It's the house over there. Why don't you want to just walk by? Okay, whatever. Okay. Have it your way. Her face is shaped so oddly. <clears throat> Would you care to take those headphones off, Ring? No, I really wouldn't, but I'd be nice. Okay. Follow me upstairs, honey. I'll show you your room. Yeah, creepy man. You stay down there. Stash. Porn stash. <laughs> I'm so excited for you to see it. I'm going to call him porn stash, you guys. What do you think? I think you shouldn't have did that dance, girl. I think I'm 17. I think you should lose the pink. It's very pink. Of course it is. Girls love pink, don't we? Uh, I guess. Um. Anyway, that's enough about the bedroom. And, um... Back to your hair. Your hair, your beautiful blue hair. Is that dye permanent? As permanent as I want it to be. I was thinking of trying a goblin green mix. Oh, rain girl, you stressing me out. <laughs> oh, it'll be cool, right? It'll be super um cool. So, <clears throat> oh, we're going to say wavelength. Uh -huh. Really? Yes, we're going to get. We're going to get on like a house on fire. What? We're going to get it. Going to get on like a house on fire. Okay. I just know it. Um. Yes, we are. Okay. I think it's time I left you alone. Early night. Um. You've got school first thing in the morning. I put brand new uniform in your wardrobe. It must be so exciting for you. Well, it's my fifth school. What? This is my fifth school in six years. I gotta become detached from the experience, to be honest. So, yes, of course. Well, good night, sweetheart. Good night. You know, you can call me mom if you like. Uh, I'm I'm not comfortable with that, you guys. But for the sake of the story, I'm gonna say goodnight, mom, just to be nice, cause she's trying really hard. Oh, to hear you say it, it sounds so so. Oh, girl, I should have never said it. <laughs> right? <laughs> just a little overwhelmed with this all. All right, it's time for me to go before I embarrass myself any further. Good night, my beautiful girl. Mommy and daddy will see you tomorrow. Sure thing, honey. Sure thing. Girl, I should have just said no. <laughs> <laughs>
wow, these guys are really happy to have me. I guess I should try and be a little less rude to them. Maybe they can't have kids for some reason, but why would they adopt a 17-year-old girl? Why not take one of the primary school, uh, primary school kids and have um, fun parenting, uh, have the full parenting experience? I'm going to assume a primary school child is like elementary. Um, anyway, I better get my PJs on and jump into bed. But I should close the curtains first. Because I don't want a pigeon perving on me. Not a damn pigeon, baby. Girl. That's better. My trusty cupcake jammies. No one, <clears throat> no matter where I am, I can always rely on you. Girl, I hate these. Time to hit the sack. I hope this bed is comfier than the ones at the foster place because I just went too fast and get to see the name. Um, hey, what do you know? It's actually pretty soft. I feel like this is the end of the episode, y'all. Oh, nope. The following morning. Come on, Rain. Get that ass up. Go to school. Get that ass up. Go to school. Man, I'm still shattered. Hell shattered. Bitch, just, ugh. <laughs> Maybe this will wake me up. Nope. Not really. Better get my new uniform on. Mm, I guess it's okay. But it looks so much better with headphones. Yep. Way better. Uh oh. Okay. Please don't start skipping again. I haven't the time for that. God, I hope nobody tries to talk to me. It's always so awkward. Only got two years here and I'm done with school forever. I can ignore everyone for two years, right? <laughs> oh man, I can see girls staring at me. I'll pretend I'm, mess I'm messaging someone. That always works. Psst, guys, check out the new girl with the blue hair. <laughs> we should totally say hello. Ugh, don't. To print, pretend, I'm just gonna pretend I can't hear the ass. Well, that's rude. She's not being rude, she can't hear us. Hi there. Hi, Emily. Emily Jenkins. <laughs> Emily, how did you know I really wanted you talking to me, sir? <laughs> this is Scarlett Smith and Faye Nolan. Hi, Emily, Faye, and Scarlett. How are you guys doing? Nice to meet you all. I'm Raven Riverton. I mean, why did I just say Raven? Rain. I'm sorry. Rain. Wow, that's a cool name. Which school have you come from? Um, I don't think you know it. It was in Bedingford. Oh, you're not from... Wait, wait. Oh, fuck it. No, I just moved here. Your mom and dad dragged you here today. Something like that. Well, welcome to Peteringham High. Anyway. Fucking... P okay. Mm -mm. Thanks. <sighs> Anything I should know about the place? Only that we have the hottest boys in the world here. Scarlet's right. There's so many kitties. There's Josh, and Chad, and Danny. Oh, Carter, Caleb, and Tyrone. Not Tyrone, baby. And then, of course, we have Leon. What's so funny about Leon, right? Is he ugly? Ugly. Oh, my God. He's not. 
He's like the fittest guy of them all. I don't understand why they call them guys fit. Like, why do I say fit? Like, he's the cutest guy of them all. But okay, whatever. But good luck if you try going down that road. Yeah, good luck with that. What do you mean? Well, Leon doesn't talk to anyone. And we have been after him for years, haven't you, ma'am? I've tried everything. I wore the tightest dress to impress him at the end of the school year about last year. But he couldn't even be bothered to glance in my direction. Think he's hiding a big secret. A secret? Yeah, his whole family's kind of mysterious, to be honest. There's something so mysterious about them that makes us suspicious. To be honest, though, it, it kind of adds to his hotness. It makes him kind of dark and boring. Okay, well, thanks for the info. I better, you know, head inside to find my locker. <laughs> nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you too, honey. Hey, why don't you have lunch with us later? Um, sure. Excellent. We'll meet you in the in the canteen. Hell no, at lunchtime. If we don't get a chance to talk to you in class. Oh, God, I hope I don't have class with any of their asses. Okay, headphones are on. Straight back. Oh, my. Locker room, where are you? Here we go. Just what I need, a dude standing really close to where I need to be. Although, yep, he's wearing headphones too. Awesome, no awkward combos. And we're in sight. How do you get this lock open? You're doing the same as me? Excuse me? I was going to ask if you were just wearing your headphones to stop people from talking to you. Jeez, why do people keep talking to me even though they know I want to be antisocial? Don't worry, I just... Uh, I just... Uh, I have just as little interest in talking to you as you have in talking to me. <laughs> Glad we cleared that up. <laughs> She's such an ass. I love it. Damn it, why want the damn locker open? <sighs> having some trouble you know you are sure you, you know you sure are chatty for someone who claims that they like to be left alone <laughs> I love it oh my god I love her uh oh let me see if I can go back on you guys Oh, just trying to help. You've got to lift the latch before you turn the key. Oh, of course. Thank you. Sorry for being rude. It's fine. I'm Leon. Oh, you're Leon? <laughs> yep, Leon Lion Fang. <laughs> Who the fuck? Joseph, sir, where are you getting these fucking names from? <laughs> Thing. Really? It's quite an epic <laughs> fucking last name, dude. Yes. It makes you sound like a superhero or something. Oh, you saved any lives recently? No. He, he, okay. Uh, um, are you sure? Because it really sounds super. I said no, okay. Sorry. Didn't mean to offend you. No? It's me who should be sorry. I didn't mean to snap like that. It's, it just hit a nerve, it's all. So, like, what's your deal? My deal? Yeah, all the girls seem to think you're, I don't know, hiding some huge secret or something. Are you? If I was, how would I know whether I could trust you enough to tell you? Um... I could give you my word. Forgive me, but I don't know you well enough to trust your word. Fine by me. I wasn't really interested anyway. 
Are you actually doing anything in your locker or are you just standing there? Hello? Are you free this evening? Excuse me? If you want to know my secret, I'll be in the Oak Park at 7.30. That was weird. He's a weird fellow. He wants to meet me? At lunchtime. This is a long apple so you got the loving name. <laughs> and I bet you it's going to be over right after this. <laughs> Hold the phone. Leon? Leon wants to meet you after school? Yeah. Uh-oh. He's He actually spoke to you? Yeah. Like a proper conversation? Kind of, yeah. How strange. Well, I'd be wary of him if I were you. He could be a killer or something. A killer? All I'm saying, there's been a lot of unsolved murders in the area recently. <laughs> Girl, you were just trying to talk to him for fucking years and all of a sudden he's a fucking murderer because he tried to talk to me. Maybe his big secret is that he's a serial killer. Where the hell is this coming from? <laughs> right, he loved the guy. I do not. I actually don't even think he's that good looking. <sighs> but just before we came to lunch, you said how hot he... Just leave it, okay? Emily, Emily. He's not that hot. Emily, you have a real shitty attitude, Emily. <laughs> I'm trying to protect the ring from him. Or are you trying to save him for yourself? He could be dangerous. Um, I'm a black belt in Jusuto. Just whatever. If he tries anything, I'll uh triangle choke him until he passes out. And what the fuck is a triangle choke, y'all? I'm gonna Google that after I finish this. Um, I've done it before. I'll do it again. Yeah, I'm laughing with you, Emily. Cause it's just fucking <laughs> at home time. Oh, end of school? Fucking crazy. At home time. What type of shit is that? Well, well, well. Who do we have here? Looks like fresh meat to me. Ugh, fresh meat. Who is this guy? Is this one of the guys you mentioned earlier? Ew, no way. He's the nerdiest creep, Jack Hyatt. Nerds are cool, not Emily. Do you get the memo? Fuck, no. Nah. <laughs> Other nerds are cool. You're not. You're a sick creep. I love our banter. It's so full of sexual tension. I'm about to puke right now. Girl, I'm right with you, Emily. Just ignore him, right? Yeah, get out of my way, jackass. Nice to meet you, too, sugar lips. I'm about to... Uh, this should... Okay. By the time you reach your house, darkness has fallen. And I think I know where Oak Park is. Should I meet him? I doubt he's dangerous. And I can look after myself. If I don't go, he'll be waiting there alone. Looks like Bill and Carol still at work. I'll leave them that though I'm going out for the evening. I wonder what's in this bedroom. I guess I shouldn't be a snoop. Girl, you ain't got time to be snooping around nobody damn house. We gotta go to this park, baby. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Close curtains. Turn me pictures out there right now. Okay, time to get out of this uniform. I should dress up smart. I should dress up smart to meet Leon or keep it get. Should I? Oh, I can't even wear my pajamas. That'll baffle him. What do I have in my wardrobe? Ooh, look at the little red dress. I've been wearing that for ages. I think I'll make an impression. Oh, girl. Girl. 
Okay, let's go with signature ring. What the hell is signature ring, baby doll? Um, let's try another outfit on. Let's... Let's go with the red. Well, love it. Choose it. Seems a good choice. This hairstyle. Okay, I don't mind the color. The style. Oh my God, it's driving me nuts. I want to change your hairstyle because it's not the style that you need to be wearing with no damn dress like that. I mean, not dress. Skirt. Okay, if Google Maps is correct, mark it is this way. Well, how in the heck? <laughs> wow, that's, that's kind of beautiful. Oh, look at him. He's actually there. Yeah, look at my fast butt. You can't. Kind of stating the obvious, aren't we, lame thing? I just wasn't sure you would. I'm curious. Why did you invite me here? Are you really hiding some big secret that you're going to reveal to me? That's the plan, yes. Hmm. Okay. Guess I wouldn't. Um, okay. Excuse me. Um, nothing. Um, I have to say it's kind of strange that you're willing to trust me with a big secret when you don't even know me. Yeah, it's kind of against my nature. I'm not entirely sure why I'm doing this either. I just got a good vibe from you. A good vibe? Yeah. Oh. No one's ever said that to me before. Usually people get a very bad vibe from me. I don't know. I don't really understand the way people are sometimes. All the girls in school are just so, I don't know, different to me. It's like we exist in completely separate worlds. But I feel like maybe I understand you somehow. Yeah, I guess I can see what you're saying. So, you're gonna tell me the big, this big juicy secret? I promise I won't tell those girls. I'm not the gossipy type. It's okay if you change your mind and you don't want to. Um, I'm a vanquisher. What? A vanquisher. I vanquish, kill obliterate destroy whatever you want to call it evil beings you kill evil beings i know it's hard to believe but evil beings do exist in this world oh i know evil beings exist they're called politicians <laughs> oh my god bro i'm serious these evil beings are called immortals rain guys <laughs> okay from everything that my family has discovered the, the mortals are, are direct descendants of the ancient greek titans they've lived amongst humans for centuries and have been secret uh perpetrators of uh, many horrific killings you don't believe me do you believe you that wait i believe you no i don't believe you i believe that you believe it's true but i don't believe it well let's go but i believe you okay thanks that's a very serious situation they murdered my what seven year old brother they strangled him to death what this are you serious i'm deadly serious i'm so sorry why don't the police do anything? They're the shapeshifters. They can change their appearance at will. So it's every day so that. It makes them really hard to to track or catch. And the police don't believe us anyway. As soon as they say the word shapeshifter, you can see the look in their eyes change. You're immediately written off as some wound. No one will ever convict well, nobody was ever convicted of Oliver's murder. They don't care. That's nuts. But if they look like anyone else, how do you know 
spirit immortal. That's where my phone comes into play. My sister coded an app that can identify immortals. Here, I'll show you. Check it out. Bear with me as I look like an idiot waving my phone around. It helps to scan the area properly. Okay, that's found that are a couple of people not far from here. Shall we see if they're immortal or not? Well, well, they know we're tracking them. No, not at all. It's completely discreet. This is a symbol we associate with immortals. <clears throat> if the act detects that someone is immortal, the symbol will hover above their heads. Let's switch to the uh, location of the people. The pan left or right within the app to locate the. Oh shit. I think this is suspects precisely. Um, nobody here. Maybe I already left the area. Let's go a bit farther. Oh, two motherfuckers. Oh my. Um, well, that doesn't look like they're immortal anyway. I'll install the app on your phone if you like. Um, yes, please. Well done. Thanks for sharing sharing your secret with me I, I just want you to know that I do take it seriously I can see how much your brother meant to you thanks it means a lot I've talked a lot about myself haven't I tell me about you me oh god where do I start I was abandoned as a baby and I've lived in foster care all my life each set of parents I've had have returned me to the foster home. Why did they return you? I think I'm just unlovable. They're always all over me in the beginning saying that I'm the best thing that ever happened to them. Then a few months to a year later, they're giving me back. Too emotionally detached. It's what they usually write on the forms. Where do you get the name Rain? When the police found me, it was pouring with rain. I was actually choking on it. So yeah, not as romantic as it sounds. In Riverton? Where did that come from? That's where I was found, Riverton. It's a little village not far from here. Gotcha. Rain, Riverton. The girl was found in the rain in Riverton. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> that must hurt. Every time your parents sent you back to the foster home, it didn't bother me, really. Really? I wanted to block it out. I understand. I think this may be why I feel a connection to you more than anyone else at school. When a person goes through a, a lot of trauma, they kind of build up a hard shield around them. It's a natural reaction. One that's just uncontrollable as crime. One that's just as, as uncontrollable as crime. The more pain we go through, the harder that shell becomes and less likely it is to break. You know what, dude? I hate to admit it, but I think that's kind of spot on. Maybe you do understand me. I have a confession to make. I kind of lied about not it not hurting. The first time my parents told me I was going back to the foster home, I cried. I cried until there were no more tears, or until there were no tears left. I was angry, furious, but underneath the anger, I was hurting so bad. It was the worst feeling in the world, and I never wanted to feel that again. I said to myself afterwards that I'd never allow myself to take anything for granted from that point onward. I would always expect the worst, so I wouldn't be surprised or affected by it when the worst happened. It was a little harder said than done at first, but over time it started working. I haven't felt pain or hurt for seven or eight years now. In fact, I haven't really felt anything. 
Life's been easier that way. Man, there's a lot of personal stuff I just told you. What am I doing? It's okay. You can trust me. I'm not going to, to go around talking about it. Thanks. You know what? It's getting kind of late. We better be going. Oh, yeah. I kind of lost track of time. I'll catch you in school tomorrow. You think I'm going to let you walk home alone? Um, yeah. I'm walking you home. I can look after myself. I'm not a little girl. It's gone. Nine and three. Wait, it's, oh wait, it's gone now, and there are immortals of how I'm walking you home whether you like it or not. I really can look after myself, but okay, I guess. This episode is really longer than I expected, you guys. I'm loving it. This is it. The apple, the apple buy residents. I almost called them Applebee again. I'm not calling them that. It's almost full. Okay, no, I'm not doing that. Anyhow, um, cool. Well, I guess I'll see you in school tomorrow. Yes, you will. Toodles. Are they still not back? I don't know what to say. Like, what the hell? There you are, girl. Just girl. Gorgeous girl. <laughs> Did you have fun with your friends, honey? Yeah, it was cool. <clears throat> Look at her, Bill. Our daughter making friends already. We're so proud of you. Things went ahead straight to bed. That's cool, you guys. Of course, Ray. Of course. Um, you must be exhausted from all of this. Um, unfamiliarity. Yeah, I'm kind of tired. Did she eat? Okay, well, good night, darling. Good night, both. Oh, just one thing, honey. That other door in the hall upstairs, it's a spare room. I've been wondering. Don't go in there, okay? Um, okay. Why? <clears throat> just promise us you won't go in there. Fuck that. What's in there? There's nothing in there, honey. It's empty, okay? Just forget about the spare room. Sleep tight, darling. Uh, yep. See, I didn't promise you nothing. Because I'm going in the motherfucking room now. <clears throat> Not right now. What's so special about the spare room? Leave it alone. Just don't wait till they ain't home, right? What the hell's wrong with your girl? I really opened up to Leon this evening. I never talked to anyone like that. What the hell am I doing? It's just that it felt kind of nice. This is the first time I'm actually looking forward to seeing someone in school in the morning. Whoa, Rain, what is this? Could the cold-hearted Rain actually be feeling some kind of emotion right now? Man, I really feel spooked out by that. Don't go in the spare bedroom business. The hell are Bill and Carl or Carol hiding? Wait. No, it can't be. Could my new parents aren't in morals, are they? Oh my god, maybe they are. Maybe that's why they are so damn strange. There's only way that's one way to find out. Let's try using the app that Leon is holding my phone. He waited with his hair first, didn't he? Yeah, sway, go on here, girl. Sway, 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 sway. Okay, that should do it. Let's have a look at this thing. Ah, got the dining room area. Pan to the left. There we go. It's got them. I'm trying to stay out. I don't know the uh, button stuff. Button one.
No, gotta be true, okay? Anger? Oh my god, you guys! I'm a freaking immortal! Oh my god, I can't believe it. Okay. So here's what. Oh my god, I'm so speechless. <laughs> okay, here's what, guys. I'm going to put my referral code in the description box. Use it, you guys. Please use it, because as you guys can see, I have zero tickets now. And I need them. Like, I have all of nine more chapters to read of this. And I have some more of Chain Reaction to read. But, yeah, you guys. Seriously. The Secret of Ring. Love it. Legit. 30 minute. Well, if I wasn't. I'm pretty sure if I wasn't reading out loud. And I was reading. You know, if I wasn't, you know, doing this video, well, I would have got through faster, but still, legit 35, 40-minute video. All right, you guys. Next two hours, as you guys can see my time limit, two hours, and let's add 20 minutes to that, so two and a half hours. I'll be doing my chain reaction 22 yeah and i'm gonna po i'm gonna keep posting the secrets of rain Alrighty, guys use my referral code subscribe to my channel um follow me on instagram twitter it's the same it's queen underscore barbie q u three three n underscore b a r b i three you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, well, morning, and I will be posting soon.